The overall goal of this procedure is to measure motor coordination in mice. This is accomplished by first testing on the accelerating rotor rod. Next, motor coordination is tested on the horizontal bar. The animal can also be tested on static rods. Lastly, performance on the parallel bars can be measured. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show whether the mouse has any impairments in motor coordination. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because of the difficulty of correctly placing the mouse on the apparatus. For all of the following tests, bring the mice to the experimental room 5 to 20 minutes before testing to ensure they are fully awake. The rotor rod seen here was built at the University of Oxford. The rod is 3 cm in diameter with a series of parallel ridges on its surface which help the mice to grip it more effectively. A flange on each side prevents the mouse from leaving the rod. They are 30 cm in diameter and 6 cm apart. The rod is secured 30 cm from the base of the apparatus. A soft padded surface is placed at the base to cushion any falls. Before beginning the trial, Prepare the rotor rod by setting a start speed of 4 rotations per minute and an acceleration rate of 20 rotations per minute. To begin, hold the mouse by the tail and bring it up towards the rod at a 45 degree angle below the horizontal. Quickly release